Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Please do consider subscribing if you have not already. Let's get right into this stock analysis for NVIDIA. So this is just an update because as of yesterday, on 18, 19, 2024, it actually looks like NVIDIA was down about 10%. Um, so it's down $84 and closed at $762 even as you can see on my screen. But yet, even with that being said, there's still a ton of, you know, excitement for NVIDIA because it's got an average analyst price target of about $1,000, which is a 32% upside. Zero sell calls to hold in 39 buys, so it's a strong buy. And the actual analysis itself, the final state that it's a 7, so it's pretty good, it's pretty good to buy. So if we check out the income statement for NVIDIA, this is a important part of talk that we bring to be used. As you can see, over the last five years basically, um, NVIDIA's revenue went from about $11 billion in 2020 to $16 billion in 2021, $26 billion in 2022. Obviously there was a chip shortage and whatnot, so there was a lot of fear and NVIDIA went down quite a lot in 2022 and into 2023, so it's pretty uh, stagnant growth. And then all of a sudden we just see it take off. Here you can see almost $61 billion in sales because of the amount of chips that people have ordered and that they sold, you know, fulfilling those orders, uh, super, super high-end chips. Some of them are like $40,000 per chip. It's something stupid and crazy like that. And then obviously their net income also exploded to be about uh, $30 billion in net income. But again, it used to be $26 billion in chip sales alone. And then the next year, that's their net income. That's just incredible. So that's why it's been on such a tear and it's still valued at such like the low right now, even. I'm still considered very fair. So that is that if we look at their total kind of assets, they have cash of about 7.2 billion, they have total assets of 44 billion, total kind of liabilities of 10 billion, meaning they're on a four to one leverage ratio of the current ratio. That's amazing. That's really, really good if you pay all of their you know expenses that they currently have outstanding uh, four times over if they wanted to and still break even with that due to the ratio. And then you can see that they've actually taken on over the last few years a little bit in long term debt. Not huge though. It's actually come down because like they've been paying it for the last two years. Uh, so it has come down. So that's what you want to see that is good. And then we're going to finish off the cash flow statement by looking at the financing activities. So they have not issued any new debt since 2022. That's a good sign. That's what you want to see. They've repaid a billion in uh, 2022. They paid off 1.2 billion earlier this year. Um, and then it looks like they don't really issue a whole bunch of shares, but they actually have been repurchasing 10 billion, 9.5 billion, and they still do pay a dividend. It is pretty small, but they do pay a dividend. So there it is right there. It's a, it's a sliver, it's a little fraction. Um, so with that being said, I mean, I love using barchart.com because it's free and I just have like a, I have a free login that I use. Um, but this is a really, really great tool just to see where exactly financial statements are landing. Um, you can also see earnings estimates as well. So like what are the current uh, consensus estimate estimates that all the analysts are saying. And with that, you can see like what the surprise is from the past. What did they you know, expect? And then what did the company actually report? And then what is that a surprise? And what does that mean? So like, if you were going into an earnings call, you could kind of tell what exactly that means via the uh, just surprise or not. So last but not least, we're going to check out a portfolio of NVIDIA. If you invested $10,000 in NVIDIA in 2020, today you'd have 154000 which is a compound annual growth rate or a CAGR of 90%. Yep, that's right, 90%. So with that being said, if you want to check out each individual year, it looks like NVIDIA grew 122% in 2020, 125% in 2021. Then it halved to about... Uh, you know, your investment went from 50000 to 25000 the next year. And then 2023 is just the astronomical explosion of growth. 
and even right now, which is only uh, January 1st through March 31st, 2024, and Nvidia is already on an 82% tear, and so it looks like it's going to probably have, you know, mark my words here, probably going to have another one of those, um, you know, triple digit return years. Just that's just how it goes with this stock. So, anyway, I just wanted to share this update with you guys. It doesn't look like there's anything too big of a concern to be afraid of with NVIDIA. It actually looks like something is worth, you know, investing in here. In my opinion, I do own a few shares. I dabble in it. 